Oh, that's it. What's on your jumper? Uh, well, it, it, it's a Greg's Christmas jumper that, or a jumper belonging to a man called Greg. That, that's great. And Joe, <laughs> what's your Christmas jumper? Mine is a Come On England jumper. Presumably it's for the football team. Yeah, presumably. Okay, I will let these two introduce themselves properly in a second. But uh, this is the uh, concept for today. Welcome into me uh, introducing my friends Sam and Joe into the wonderful world of ASMR. Uh, we're going to be teaching them, or I'm going to be teaching them, exactly uh, how to create nice noises to uh, sink you into a nice holiday festive slumber, or whatever you want to be doing. But first, because these uh, jumpers didn't pay for themselves, uh, I'm going to do a, uh, we have a, we have a holiday message from our, from the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. You've got a phone, right? Perhaps a little bit of holiday downtime. Then you should be playing this absolute blockbuster of a game, Raid Shadow Legends. Because what else are you going to be doing, let's be honest, between like the 26th and the 28th of December? If you're like me, nothing. Anyway, the link is down below. But here are my top three reasons that you should be clicking this link. One, the turn-based combat is actually immensely satisfying. It's really good. And it makes you use your brain. Two, it's got like elves and orcs and demons and that. It's like proper world building in an epic fantasy universe. And it's committed, unlike so many, so many mobile games, to actually telling a really, really good story. It's really cool. And finally, you get to build a team that's very unique to you, customize them, choose special champions, whatever. For instance, they've just released a legendary champion based off the MMA and pro wrestling legend, Ronda Rousey. Now, whether or not you're a newbie or a long-term player, you can unlock Ronda for free, and all you have to do is log in and play Raid for about seven days between now and Feb the 28th, and Ronda's all yours. Now, to celebrate Ronda's arrival in Raid, use a special promo code, I'm going to put it on the screen here, Raid Ronda, to get a bunch of helpful stuff. Perfect for leveling up Ronda, so she's at the top of her game. And, even better, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get a bunch of rewards as well, this second. If you're a new player, use my link, or scan this QR code here, to get a free starter pack with a bunch of amazing loot. It's worth almost 30 bucks, including the champion Tyrell. So, you can see the rewards in your inbox here for the next 30 days, and give it a play. Let me know what you think. ASMR lesson number one. Scissors. Scissors. Sound really nice. You know, like, haircut, sort of like, uh, yeah, Rob yeah, yeah. and experience this. The snip, snip, snip of scissors. A lot of people's first memory of, AS of them getting ASMR was when they were in the hairdressers, and... Uh, the hairdresser was sort of cutting their hair, stroking their hair, playing with their hair, and sort of speaking to them about what they were doing. And so this triggers a lot of people's ASMR. Also, to explain to you guys what's happening with your microphones, you are their left ear, oh. and you are their right ear. So is it like a, an angel and a devil type situation? Maybe two two Christmas angels. It sort of depends. You could be a, with a bit of a devil side. And I can be the conscience in between. I can just be the brain, the main brain. Anyway, do you want to open your presents? <laughs> I spent ages <laughs> wrapping them. I might, I might cut this bit up. No, I'm sure this sounds amazing. <laughs> Maybe. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Okay. I'm wrapping it very very <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We're just going to do like a jump cut where you throw the jumpers up in the air and then we cut and then the jumpers are on you. It's no, going to be very magic. magic. Okay. Are you ready to throw? Yes. Okay. And three, two, one, throw. Yeah. <laughs> Did that work? Did that look awesome? Okay, good. Uh, Sam, what's on your jumper? From the sponsor of today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, yeah. Ultimate Universe for me is going to be doing the ad read right now. Yes. And we are still rolling. So Do we need to wait until it finishes? If you guys could get rid of your wrapping paper, I think that would be a good start. Quiet. Yeah. Nice, and, nice and quietly. So, to kick off the introductions, my name's Atlas. You'll know this already if you're on my channel. If you haven't been to my channel before, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my lovely friend, Joe. <laughs> That's good ASMR. Thank you. Thank you. Joe, what's your favourite Christmas song? It's actually Underneath the Christmas Tree by Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> okay, good start. And um, 
to my right is my lovely friend. Sam, hello. I'm Sam. Sam, hello. And what's your uh, favourite Christmas song? Christmas song. Um, I like uh, The Christmas Song by Nat King Cole. It's a great, it's a great song. It's a great song. I think that's, that's my favourite cool as well. Song. Yeah, it's really cool Because song. it's the best song. Also, Send a Baby by Ariana mm. Grande. It's very yeah, good. I think it's also a good song. What's that one by Justin Bieber? It's also quite good. Mistletoe. No, Mistletoe. It's also a very good song. I like Justin Bieber. I do quite like Never that. Never be so, um, so just, just, to, just to introduce this part of the video, um, this is what we're going to be doing first up. So uh, ASMR, as you've probably seen through uh, watching my videos, if you watch my videos, is um, often about the voice. We'll be exploring what ASMR means more broadly. But initially, I'm going to teach you how to soft speak yeah. versus... I need that. <laughs> naturally quite loud, as I'm discovering. Versus whispering. So... If you guys can try your soft spoken voice, exactly what you've been doing. Hello there. Yeah, that's nice. Oh. And Joseph, if you could try your soft spoken voice. This is me. Yeah. Being soft spoken. That's great. That's really good. But I've been whispering most of this time. <clears throat> so I'm not. <laughs> really, yeah, sure. I didn't realize there was a difference. So I felt this very much. So they're two, they're two very distinct triggers where you can sort of lapse into one or, or the other in your videos, but a lot of the videos will be labelled either soft-spoken or whispered, people having a preference for one or the other. Um, and all of these triggers, you know, we'll have tapping, we'll have rustling, we'll have crinkling and whatever. Mm -hmm. All of them do uh, trigger people's ASMR in different ways, and people have their preferences, which is why it's such an interesting, interesting genre. So, part of this um, exercise is eye contact with the camera. So even though we're sort of broadly talking to ourselves, each other, um, a lot of what makes an ASMR experience, roleplay, or whatever you want to call it, feel um, intimate and personal. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's eye contact. So that's a good start. If we can try your whisper, please, Samuel. Oh, you'd like to hear my whisper, would you? Yeah, but like more, more gently, I think. Oh, you'd like to hear my whisper, would you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but like, it can just be like... Sorry, yeah. that came across yeah, a bit like you could just, evil genius. That was quite evil genius. It can just sort of be like, uh, like you're hardly putting any evidence. Yeah, of course, man. I, yeah, I don't, so I'm not the, even thinking about the, it. The, just uh, a natural. Yeah, a, a lot of these things, these like soft noises that people make in ASMR videos, are supposed to just uh, be uh, relaxing. They're for sleep time content. They're they're sort of amplifying very sort of delicate, tiny, tiny noises. Um, and so, as well as sometimes feeling intimate, it can feel sort of soothing. Like uh, you're just sort of sat on the couch next to your mate or to your loved one and whatever. And whispering to them. And whispering to them. And um, whispering to your friend on the couch. I feel very soothed when I sit next to you on the couch and you whisper in my ear, for do, example. Do, do you? Wow. Good. I'm glad. Uh, I have surrounded us with a plethora of different triggers and things that we might uh, do in order to hopefully try and uh, relax you at home like the scissors. If you guys could please refer to the plates in front of you. Thank you. Trigger number one. We are going to be buttering some toast. I am going to motion how to do this. You've buttered toast before, <laughs> but... <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> it's not toasty enough. It's quite soft. It's soft. It's soft. It's soft bread. really soft. Oh my soft God. Bread. Okay, we're going to be buttering soft bread. It was, it was once... <laughs> I was once toast. It's now reverted to its original form. Okay, so let's see if this actually makes a good noise. Yeah, oh, that's so quite, that quite nice. You're gonna have to do it around the edges, I think. A lot of why uh, these triggers are really soothing for people is that they almost mirror white noise or like the sound of the beach or like no. um, the pitter patter of rain outside. It's about creating nice, soothing ambiences. And is that a throwback to the muffled sounds that you hear as a baby in the womb? Maybe. Huge, huge is true. Interesting. That is huge is true. Okay, so if you can pick up your the bread butter. slash toast and just give it a hot crack. Give it the butter, Sam. This is good butter. Yeah, man, it's only the best butter from m and So I'm going to speak to you while you guys are doing this. So you two have the more important job than I do because you are in each ear and therefore are exploring the full sort of spectrum of like a binaural soundscape, if you see what I mean. So a lot of ASMR videos make very good use of what is like 180 or sometimes 360 sound where you can put on headphones and have 
almost semi-realistically, it sounds like you are over there, left shoulder, buttering bread in the area. <laughs> that, that is relaxing. That's an ordinary scenario. Yeah, that, that would always happen. But this is sounding good, guys. You're it's doing you really well. well. I know I'm feeling festive yeah, what, with all this bread and butter. Yeah, it's, it's good bread, man. I spent like a pound on this bread. Thank you, Rage Shadow Legends. I'm quite tempted to eat the bread. Can I eat the bread? Uh, yeah, you can eat the bread, for sure. So this is a this would be a different type of ASMR. A really large it's bread. called mukbang. So mukbang is like um is is eating on camera. Yeah, eat the bread. Eat the bread, good. Yeah. That'll, that'll. Oh that's a that's a good crunch. I might have to edit the crunch in there. That chewing noise is gonna come up really very soft. <laughs> That chewing, that chewing noise for people, for people who like chewing noises, and I must, I must say that the chewing noise thing is like a, is it like like a niche as a mark oh, that a lot of people don't necessarily vibe with. I, think I personally do not like chewing noises. I've lost the audience. I've lost them. Well, yeah, you know, no, I'm just going to zoom into you this, into this entire time. Just, just get a little close up on your mouth. Mm, I'm so yeah. sorry. I think that that's probably enough soft bread being buttered. So, next up is one of my favorite triggers. Video game controllers. So, oh, very cool. a big part of I think very what cool. makes a big part of I think what makes ASMR so uh, nice feeling is nostalgia. Often it is harking back to early memories that people have had. If it is like for me, your grandpa reading to you, or if it is your hair being cut by someone, or if it is your doctor explaining something to you, or if it even is just sitting around your early video game console, be it like a, a Sega or Nintendo 64 or PlayStation or Game Boy or whatever, and just sort of playing as a kid. And so these noises feel familiar, and when you're drifting off to them, it can feel very nice. So, this is a very, very easy trigger. It's just about pressing buttons. And for me personally, button pressing sounds so nice. It's exactly like that. Oh, you're, you're, you're smashing it. You guys have done this before, I think. I pressed some <coughs> buttons on that time. You said, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Why not? Yeah. See, it's performative as well. Now you look like an ASMR, ASMR artist. Yeah. 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 So, with button sounds, you can sort of hear collectively from the three of us doing it. That it sort of almost sounds like rain. I was gonna say it sounds like rain. Yeah. Peter Pan is rain. Peter Pan is rain. rain. And oh, there, how beautiful. there are certain there are certain words like Peter Pan, Peter Pan that have really that have a lot of consonants. You know the P's and the T's that sound also really nice and really sort of double gang on, double gang on, double gang on, double gang on. Well, that's that's good. But but one of the most um common potato. <laughs> yeah. Potato. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. What, what, one of the most common trick words is stipple, 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 stipple. make a stiff nipple. Stipple. No, stipple. What, what is a stipple? It's like a, isn't it like a, oh God, what is a stipple? I'm pretty sure it's a stiff nipple. Okay, it's probably a stiff nipple. Yeah, if you know what stipple is, please let me know down below in the comments. So you that. know what it is. <laughs> we all know what it is. Please confirm if it's a stiff nipple. We are currently just doing... Uh, control the sounds. However, I'm going to introduce you to a concept. It's not. A, it's not a tough concept called layered sounds. So if you guys do that, yeah. I am going to use this as an excuse to have a chocolate. But if I bring in a different sound, so now we're creating soundscapes, baby. Fantastic. This is how the magic gets made. Fantastic. This is how the sausage gets made. Oh wow. It's actually a lot better than many experience. And also, like, <laughs> sometimes making ASMR can get a little bit tedious if you're doing this for an hour. But it's also quite fun. Like, yeah. you, you can sort of see. This is fantastic. Uh, this it's is kind of relaxing to do. It is quite relaxing to do. It mm -hmm. sort of helps you be mindful and, like, zoom into, like, a moment, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Making stuff. And also, there's no such thing as dead air and making ASMR. Like... I'm sure the audience by now are just like, can you boys stop talking <laughs> and just do the, do the control the sounds. I actually think I'm going to enjoy listening to this video. It sounds nice. Let's, let's pause this for now. I don't need to explain what 
what this is. <laughs> but I also probably don't need to explain why this is satisfying and relaxing. But bubble wrap, even if you're not listening to ASMR, popping it is incredibly satisfying. <laughs> yeah. And if we, t if we all do this at the same time, What does that sound like? Oh, cool. Fire. It sounds like fire. I was going for fire, but popcorn. It also sounds like popcorn. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like popping blasts. <laughs> so, in that sense, what we're doing is almost like Foley. It's like being a Foley artist, in a sense, you know, because this is sort of what they do to create sounds and films. Oh. Okay. What a Foley is oh, Foley. So, a Foley artist in film. Um, for instance, if someone, because you don't record the sound of someone walking through a jungle, say, in the film, you will um, record the dialogue with the boom poles, but you won't record their feet or what it sounds like for them to be in this environment. So if they're walking through a jungle with loads of sticks and leaves and things, mm -hmm. they will put a microphone like we have here, put it like a little sound bed down. Let's say this little mat represents the forest floor and that this represents the leaves. And they, they will then... Uh, along with the film, go. Ah. And that will be the footsteps. This is very satisfying. It is quite satisfying. So that's what a Foley artist does. Cool. And for instance, it, it's, I think it's really creative and very fun because like this, for instance, could be an opening of a door and sound more like an opening of a door than actually opening a door. Mm -hmm. because they won't have a creaky door necessarily in their filming room. Mm -hmm. So they will find this or a twig or something like that and just go and modulate the pitch up and down and add reverb. I was reading that the doors in Star Wars are just like a sheet of paper or something. And they're just going to go yeah. shh, yeah, yeah, shh yeah, yeah. as the doors go shh, yeah. shh. Oh, that's which, cool. Which is really but, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was once, I was once reading that they apparently usually just record people buttering like cold bread <laughs> and it sounds more like toast when they do it. I think so. I think I think actually that's that's a bit of an urban Christmas myth. <laughs> I'm all out of bubbles. I have no bubbles left. I haven't actually popped any bubbles. I've exhausted my bubbles. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Have, that was fantastic. Have some of Sam's oh my god. god. He's got, oh, so got surplus bubbles. You are good at bubbles. Also while you guys are doing that. He's got he's got a stipple's worth of bubbles. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I don't like distance. Mm -hmm. about the sort of like um, building a relaxing environment and inviting you in to sort of have a sort of serendipitous conversation. But it's really nice, I think, actually being able to focus on making the sounds. And also because I fall asleep listening to podcasts. I don't know about you, but like I feel when I'm listening to like one of my favorite ones is the Off Menu podcast. Just like people like that feel like they're having fun and sort of like, you know, they're really good mates. There's, oh, something, something, there's something cute and nice about I, my, the podcasts I listen to are too politically sort of active and I just get I just get irritated yeah I, 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 I imagine that you wouldn't want to sort of fall asleep to that podcast yeah, I fall asleep mm -hmm. to the sound of my girlfriend snoring oh that's really cute <laughs> or she falls asleep to the sound of me snoring or doesn't <laughs> she wakes me up we could we could also clean this um, I think to move on to the next trigger <clears throat> So, <clears throat> are you going to try guys? Pill bottles are great because they're quite like a multi-sensory experience. <laughs> but lids, oh, it's not lids are particularly good. So, one, if we could tap on the lid like this. That probably sounds awesome. Okay, I'm going to introduce you to the second thing you could do with a pill bottle. This all sounds very, very technical. <laughs> you can open 
the lid. Oh my gosh, it opens. And if you listen to this. Oh, that's cool. Open, opening the bottle like that. Yeah, well, oh my gosh. You know what you can do with that? Wait, Sam's gonna do a solo. Oh, oh she's gonna do Sam, show the, show the viewer as well. a trigger that I've only got you boys because they come in packs of two and I didn't buy another one. Do you want to take a guess as to what these things are? Bubble liquid. <laughs> Sam's guess is bubble liquid. <laughs> massages. Massages. I have a to guess are they little massages? <laughs> they, these things are massages. Are they are massages? Yeah, they are massages. They're like light bulbs. I'm pretty, pretty sure they're light bulbs. Uh, are they, is there a light in them? No. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> there is, man. There is. Just yeah. turn it on. There is, if you believe, man. It's Christmas. <laughs> These are great because not only do they look ridiculous, and you can do this, but like water sounds are also a very popular trigger. Thoughts and on. what you can do with this is. It's fantastic. Which is fantastic. really good. I like that. Yeah, really nice. And. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They won't be getting the binaural effect out of this because I'm just the middle microphone. So I need them to get it from you guys so you can. And hopefully they hear that. And three, two, one, and. Oh, that's good. I mean, just, just, just keep keep doing it. Oh, okay. It doesn't really need to be coordinated at all. I thought it did. I don't know. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I really wish I could actually be hearing this because 
This is probably one of my favorite triggers. It does, yeah. it does sort of make you need to pee in the middle of the night. Oh, yeah, I gotta pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but it's nice. What you can also do, Sam, if yeah. I might uh, just borrow yours for demonstration for a second, is do exactly what Joe's doing. And just like. Just want to shake it around. Shake it around. Yeah. Do you want to have a try? I certainly do. That's good stuff. I, I think actually they look slightly more sort of aesthetically pleasing if you take this bit off. But this bit sounds very nice uh, for, your, for your fingers, you know. So. Yeah. Or you can just do what Joe's done and use the two of them as like a little uh Yeah, I think that's good. It's kinda of like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. It, it's, yeah, it's tough. It, it's tough. This is a full mind and sound workout. I like how into it you guys are getting. I keep looking at that. Thinking that that's Think my that camera. That's the camera. Like <laughs> okay. How about Twenty seconds more of this. Give it your all. Give them all. Oh, okay. come on, guys. Come on. Let me know what you guys think of this. Is it good? Is it bad? Who's better? Let's make it a competition. I'm quite good. I'm excited. I mean, the people are here, Joey. Does look quite good. I think that both of you have quite ASMR voices and very relaxing presences. You know. Yeah. I feel very relaxed by by this whole endeavor. Yeah, that's good. Again, don't hide your face. You go, you go yeah, I'm hiding my face. I like to get in, in, in I, behind. I, I need the audience to see these beautiful mugs. And not these. <laughs> he got me. I have some presents for us to wrap. <laughs> in true Christmas fashion. Um, they might even be presents for our friends. Oh, no, that's that Off, off. Oh, well, okay. Well, they won't now be going to say <laughs> They won't be going to Sam's girlfriend now because he has this, she has this book already. <laughs> good. It was a really good choice. Yeah, thank you. I, I thought so as well. Anyway, this isn't any promotion, by the way. I just like Stanley Tucci. Um, perhaps before we wrap them, we might read a couple of lines. Yeah, that's because I, be really lovely. I, I, I wanted, really to, I wanted to now test your reading prowess, your, your newfound powers of ASMR. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, so, we can't read too much of it because I don't want to get copyright stricken by Mr. Tucci. However, I think it's, a memory view. I think a couple of lines is probably fair use. So, just flip to, oh yeah, actually that's a good point, Sam. Very nice. Oh. The sound of books as, um, as the folks on my channel will know, I like a book and I like reading. And this was sort of the initial fundament of my channel and ASMR offering. And I do still like the very lovely sort of like bookshoppy library sort of feeling that it conjures. It's very just sort of nice and tangible and woody and there's a lovely smell. And, oh. and the book. creaking of a spy. Yeah. Or the fluttering. Actually, this is another thing that I can tell you about ASMR. Overly describing something is a, is a common trigger. Yeah, a so, if you were to over-describe this book, you could say that it's sort of a rectangular, boxish in nature with yellow and uh, some beautiful uh, serif styling on the, uh, on the lettering. And you can say it clearly features a very nice portrait of Stanley Tucci, okay. resplendent in glasses and... And moonlight bouncing off his bald head. <laughs> yeah. No offense, Stanley. <laughs> Sorry, Stanley. I mean, uh, he's a, he's a fan of the channel. Yeah, he's, he's an Atlas fan. L L long time friend of the channel, Stanley Tucci. Please don't be offended by Sam saying that moonlight's bouncing off your bald head. And uh, Joe, how would you describe this book in either literal or metaphorical? Terms. You can describe it however you want. I might describe it as a bit of both. It is an adorable little pocket book with scrumptious sort of uh, adjectives within, such as demise. That's is that an adjective? No. <laughs> it is certainly not. Well, I did read a scrumptious adjective earlier. I think, I think it was scrumptious. <laughs> okay, good. That's a good start. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to suggest now that we read some passages from the book. Um, again, just maybe like a line each, 
Sam. If you want to go first, I don't want to uh, dictate how you should read it. But get, get, get closer, he said, dictating how With the exception, <laughs> with the exception of him and his father, his entire family was killed in the blast. <laughs> is now in his 80s and he and his restaurant are still very active and consistently turning out what is probably indeed the best a spaghetti a la carbonara that I've ever tasted. What if I do this? If I look? Yeah, yeah that looks exactly like Sammy Tucci's head on your body. <laughs> um, that was really nice, man. It feels like you sort of did the punchline of, of what was one of the stories. Just like, no, it's, oh, it's not. It's no, just like it's an incidental It's an incidental moment. moment. Okay, I'm going to go for one of the most beautiful regions of Italy, in my opinion, is Lombardy. Is that how you say it? Lombardy? Yes. Situated in the very north of the country and home to Milan, Lake Como, and the Alps, the Arabic Alps. I apologize. I would keep reading, but I want Joe to have a hot crack, and Joe's actually Italian, so. Oh, yeah, and I'm looking for. An Italian word, but I'll just read this. However, it is more than likely that they ended up in our fridge. So we would stop constantly haranguing the poor woman to buy them. <laughs> Fantastic. That's really relaxing, man. Yeah, no. Have you read this book? No, I have not. It's just beginning to sound like an ad for this book, so we should get on to the real bit. <laughs> if you are too, Sam, please hand me one of the wrapping papers. And Joe, if you were to take your own wrapping paper, and say, yeah, you've got orange there. Yes, please, thank you. I've hopefully cut just enough to make this. I, I, I'm sure in uh, normal times, people would find wrapping relaxing. I don't think people, anyone would find me wrapping a present very relaxing, because I don't know about you guys, but I am useless at this particular thing. I'm pretty relaxed. It's not, it's not one of my skills, but I'm going to try and do this as therapeutically and uh, beautifully as possible, as are these boys. Look at that. That's gorgeous. 
Jesus. That's a time. That's a time. That's, a time. That's really tough. And I've nailed mine as well. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, uh, if you just want to hold your presents up, please. You uh, at, at home, or wherever you are listening or watching to this, get to vote. Which one do you like the best? Who did the best rapping job? I mean, I think the choice is obvious. That's a tight rap. <laughs> Presents are done. We have one final trigger. I believe. Again, one of my favorite triggers is these red little uh, beer bowl cups. I'm gonna give you one each. So, what this helps do is you can create, depending on the proximity to the microphone, a lot of sort of uh, proximity, like variation on sort of the proximity tone. I don't really know how to describe that, but because it's hollow, you get quite an interesting sound. That's good. That's good. That's a pitter patter. Yeah, it is. Describe this cup, Sam. How would you describe it in overly complex terms? Well, if you were to imagine a section of fuselage from a rocket, so Sam's got to describe it. With the wider base going up towards a thinner point. Um, yeah, that's kind of that's good stuff. Cross section. That's, that's good stuff. Amazing. Okay. Do you guys feel like you've learned quite a lot? in terms of how to ASMR. Definitely. Absolutely. I feel all that at the end of it as well. Yeah. Mm. So, for the final exercise in this video, I'm going to ask you both to use your newfound ASMR knowledge to try to give me ASMR. Mm. I'm going to put on headphones that are hooked up to your microphones. Okay. And you are going to use all of the techniques that we've used so far, or whichever techniques that you want to use, the ones that you feel like are most for you, you know? And you're gonna try and trigger my ASMR. You guys know what ASMR is, don't you? Yeah, yes. To, to, to recap for you both, ASMR is uh, that sort of tingly sensation that a lot of people get, that many people don't. That starts at the top of your head. Audio, sensory meridian audio. No. Yeah, it's just as good a guess as that. It's for autonomous sensory meridian response. I really thought audio was the one that we would have got right. <laughs> so, ASMR can be auditory, it can be uh, tact tactory, I don't know if that's the right word. Uh, it can be visual, like if I was to shine a torch into their eyes. Some people could get visual ASMR. And that could be relaxing for some people. Crazy. <coughs> yeah, it is crazy. But also like, you know, the head massager. Yeah. That's probably an example of yeah, what it feels like to nice. get like it's a nice. like a tactile yeah. uh, ASMR. Yeah, 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 yeah. And some people like it, some people don't. But uh, to, to people who don't experience ASMR, and am I right in thinking that neither of you experience like audio ASMR? No, no, I don't. Uh, it feels a lot like, like frisson, frisson, frisson. Is that? Um, that that's cleared it up. <laughs> frisson, you know, you know when you're listening to like an incredible piece of music. Yeah, yeah. It, it's that sort of that, that tingly. Tingly's. Yeah, 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 yeah. The tinglies. Yeah. And uh, sorry, the, the tinglies. I think is the official term. This is quite nice. Actually. No, no, oh, actually, too loud. actually, I don't know what it is. So, one of the downsides of uh, being a, uh, <coughs> I want to see, well, I'm either a male ASM artist or an ASM artist with, with no long fingernails, I should say, is that you don't get the nice sort of like clickety, clickety clack, clickety clack that you might get with long fingernails, like Sam's. I have very short fingernails. But what you're doing sounds really nice. I bite my fingernails. I bite. Yeah, yeah, I put that down my fingernails. If you guys could put your uh, cups down, I 
I'm now going to uh, reach across you, Joe, and can you please uh, try out your microphones and see if these work? Demise or oh. stipple. <laughs> wow. Happy, uh, happy Christmas. Oh, this is very sensitive. I don't, I've never had this uh, done before. Live this is quite nice. Live live I'm having a good time. Oh, especially with your, own, your friend's voices. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, is I, it... Intimate. What does this sound like? Oh, heartless. <laughs> I would now task you, if you will, if you are prepared for the challenge and up to the task, if your passion is equal to the task, to now pick up these objects and uh, use a selection of different triggers that you have now learnt how to create ASMR from. And I will be um, just the participant in the middle. Me and you, viewer, audience, are in this together now. It is up to Sam and Joe to trigger our ASMR, or just relax us. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay, good. Joe. I was born ready. Fantastic news, fantastic news. Okay, have you got all of the objects that you want to use? Oh, yes. Wow, Sam's, Sam's prepared. I am now going into ASMR land, and uh, look forward to seeing you in there. Hello, Atlas. Are you ready to get atmospherically censored? Yeah. Audio sensory audio. <laughs> Radio and response. Autonomous, I know it's what. Autonomous is a nice word. I'm just going to turn this up for myself.
Mysterious old mouse <laughs> Jeremy, whose relationship we don't know. That is phenomenal. It snaps. It snaps for the boys. Very Christmassy. We want to extend a happy holidays to you, even if you don't uh, experience or uh, celebrate Christmas. But these mice did celebrate Christmas. <clears throat> they're Catholic mice. They're, they're, they're Catholic mice. Mm. Um, thank you. That was a truly tremendous story and thank also you. display of your new ASMR. SMR powers. We've been working on it for months. I, I think potentially there will be some sort of petition to remove me from this channel and just uh, have you boys instead. Because that was seriously probably the best part <laughs> of the video. But anyway, is there anything else that you want to cover before we uh, bring things to a, an amicable close? No, no probably not. Um, from us to uh, all of you and yours uh, a very happy holidays and uh, I hope that wherever you are in the world you have a lovely festive season uh, with the people that you love the most and uh, yeah I hope very much to uh, make more things for you in the new years so yeah bye bye please if you like this video uh, like and subscribe Merry and uh, comment down below what you thought of Sam's ASMR skills and Joe's ASMR skills. <laughs> um, anyway, thanks team. And uh, yeah. <laughs>